everyone and welcome to my channel. It has been quite a while since I last posted an art journal video so I thought I would do that today. And this time I made a pretty fast and simple page using a few different products. And I started on a page that I had previously sprayed with one of my Prima color blooms. And I got them a while back and I just wanted to see what they looked like on a paper so I had sprayed the dark purple one in my small art journal. When I got these sprays I thought they would be more opaque and less shimmery but I still do like them. They are easy to layer and you can get them really dark if you just spray a few times. And for this page I started with the stencil from Prima and some distressing to add a bit more detail to the page. And then I used these feather stamps from Whiff of Joy and I stamped them all over the page with the same color of distressing as I used on my stencil. I'm not really thinking too much about where I'm stamping and I'm just trying to get some detail and layers to the page here. And I do start with the largest of the feathers and work my way down to the smallest just to make sure I get a somewhat even coverage. When I'm done stamping I took my distressing pad directly to the edges of the page to get some color there as well. And for some more detail on the page I'm using another stamp set from Whiff of Joy and this one has a stamp with a bunch of small birds that I'm going to use. And I'm stamping these birds in jet black archival ink and I'm trying to make it look like the birds are flying from the bottom left corner to the top right one. Since the page is very dark already you can't really see the birds very well but that is how I wanted it to be. And I'm going to stamp the big bird as well but I want that to be my focal point so I needed to stand out a bit more. And I decided to tear out a piece of paper from the back of the journal and use that for my stamping. And since I will be using spray inks on top of this image I need to stamp in waterproof ink so I'm using my archival ink for this as well. Before I start coloring the bird I decided to stamp a branch where the bird will sit later on. And this stamp is an old one from Hero Arts and I am stamping this in jet black archival ink. And now for the coloring. And I'm lazy and I do not want to start bringing up my markers or anything like that so I just decided to color the image with my dilution spray inks. And I chose a yellow and a brown ink for this and I also brought out a dark red one in the end. I love to color with spray inks and I tend to do this a lot, especially in my art journals. The only thing I do not like about these sprays are the fact that they always get clogged and it takes forever to clean them so I can use them again. And I had that problem here as well. When the image is dry I'm trimming it out with my scissor and then I took a black brush tip Copic multi-liner and went around the edges of the image. This way I get rid of the white and I can cover up any small mistakes that I made while cutting. I also thought that the bird's beak was a bit too light so I decided to make it slightly darker using a yellow Copic marker. Since I cut away the legs I need to stamp the image again directly onto the page and then adhere the cut one on top. So here I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place the bird. But before I do any stamping I'm going to cover the whole page with matte medium so that my colors will stay in place. I have used a lot of colors that will react with water and if I don't do anything about it I will probably mess up the whole page at some point. Using matte medium will also give me a non-porous surface which will enable me to do some shading around the bird later on. And to make sure that my wet medium doesn't move the colors too much I'm just slightly adding the medium to my page. I did manage to move the colors around a bit too much on the right side of the spread but I'm not too bothered about that. When the page is dry I'm stamping the bird where I want it using archival ink. And when the stamping is done I brought out my memento marker just to fill in the branch a bit. The color faded a bit when I added my matte medium and I want the branch to be really dark and crisp. The memento marker will dry permanently but it did take quite a while to dry on the surface and I managed to smudge it a bit when I adhered the bird later. I adhered the bird with matte medium and I did my best to line it up with the stamping that I had made. And I'm using matte medium both underneath the bird and on top of it to seal it and make it non-porous so I can do some shading around it later. I don't have any markers that work particularly well for shading but I realized that my distress markers did a pretty good job so I ended up using one of them. The downside of using these markers are that they will react with water and you can still wipe them off if you want to. But I don't really plan on adding any more water to this page so it's okay anyway. And I also wanted the edges to be a bit darker and I had the black archival ink next to me and I decided to add that. Just like I did with the distress ink pad I'm just slightly adding some color here and there around the page. And now for the wording. I'm first stamping the sentiment from the same stamp set I used before and this one says let your dreams fly high. And I'm stamping this in black below the bird. The page is pretty dark and here on camera it's a bit hard to see the sentiment I stamped but it's more visible in real life. And I'm also going to add some wording to the left side of the page and for that I'm using these letter stamps that I have in my stash. These are from a Swedish company called Granit but you can find similar ones from other brands. I love to use these kind of alphabet stamps for art journaling and I also don't mind that you always tend to get the black square around the letters. I just think that is a nice touch. 
I first planned on stamping my second word with these small letters, but when I stamped the first one I realized that they were way too small and I stamped over it with a larger set instead. I used these small ones to stamp the word AND on the right side of the page. And that was all I did on this page. I didn't do very complicated page here, but I like to keep things simple. And I hope you like it, and as usual you can find the complete supply list in the description below. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.